A lot of people have been commenting on my Compact Presario 2200. Uh, most of them were complaints and what they don't like about it. A number of people have been complaining about the loud beep sound that this machine makes when it's starting the boot sequence. And a lot of people have been complaining to me about how the Compact logo slides on the screen and then fades out. Well, clearly there's nothing anyone can do to stop that. There's no no options to stop that um, loud beeping sound in the, in the logo sliding across. There's nothing I can do to get rid of that. And quite frankly, I rather enjoy hearing that beep because it gives me a sign that this machine's working. If I don't hear that beep, then there's a problem. And usually that's very common because the fucking hard drive that's in there is the culprit to why it doesn't beep. So it's very important that it should beep because it lets you know if it's gonna boot or not. If it doesn't beep, not gonna boot. So, another complaint has been about the white DVD drive on it. Yes, I know. The DVD drive on the front is white, the rest of the computer is, is black. And I myself have a huge problem with that, I don't like it either. Well, I went through my piles of optical drives, and I ended up finding this bad boy. This came from my HP computer down there. Um, I upgraded the optical drive to a, a new LG DVD rewritable multi-recorder drive. It was made around 2007 to 2008. This one was made in January 2004. The only problem I've ever had with this was sometimes it would fail the burning process of DVDs and CDs. And it says rewritable on it, so you can rewrite your data on rewritable disks. Well, clearly, there has been a problem with that. It wouldn't rewrite on the disks. So, I don't know what its problem is, but all I know is it, it's played DVDs, it's copied data off of DVDs, and I haven't had an issue with that. Only with burning though. So I figured, well, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy a new DVD drive for this sucker when I can use this. So I'm going to do some surgery on this. Oh yes, I'm going to install a new Windows 98 second edition image. Reason being, as I said before, the reason why the machine doesn't beep is because this son of a bitch, which is a Quantum Fireball SE, 4 gigabyte drive, the spindle motor winds up and then it just slowly winds down. And it makes weird zip beep sounds and it scares the shit out of me. So, out this goes into the trash. There's no important data on it, it's just music. So, if only I had a Bigfoot hard drive, you know, like, the only way I can keep this thing from flopping around is if I can put a screw in this hole right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to um, keep this in place, but anything to prevent this hard drive from banging around inside the machine. I tried lining it up with these screw holes, 
but no. It has to be a big foot hard drive to go in there. And let's see. And that's the only screw hole I can get right there. I'm worried that I won't be able to put the cover back on because the screw head will be poking out. So I'm kind of wrapping my brain around that one. But anyway, tight squeeze. And yeah, so I'm gonna disassemble the front. This is an updated video since I was using a crappy camera back in the day. And uh, using the zoom would be much better. I'm not going to use my Sony CyberShot because piece of shit. Keeps focusing and defocusing. And there's no way to stop it. So, you know what? I thought piss on it. I'm not going to waste my time. Now, with this camera, you can clearly see that there's a screw head down there. And that screw head needs to come out. They're a big pain in the ass to put back in if you have um, no tools to do it. And I, I have um, a pair of tools to get this out. And if you're using a magnetic screwdriver, that is a real help. Okay, so one screw out. Now to the next side. Like I said, this camera does not have the software with it, and I don't know where the software is. It's not my camera. It's a family camera. If only the brilliant owners would tell me what they ended up doing with the software for it. It'd make my life a whole lot easier to edit videos and not waste as much time. I could have saved a whole lot of time by just stopping this video and then turning the machine around. But, you can't do that. Okay. This lovely rainbow power connector is for these lovely power buttons on the front. Standby, volume control, the hard drive light and power light. That's what they're for. Now you gotta gently pull them off. These are the toughest ones. So you gotta kinda wiggle them. Be careful not to bend any of those pins down there. Or oh, you'll be really sorry. Now, time for the subwoofer speaker. Simple as that. And get that one screw, oh shit, down there. Again, it's a little squeeze. But what can you do? And Bob's your uncle, it comes out. Now, remember to unplug any of the media cables that are connected to the optical drive. Like so. And try not to get them tangled. Now, here's my favorite part about Compaq. And this is why I love this machine so much. I think this is probably one of the most coolest features that is on this computer, is that the front actually slides out. Now I'm going to put the camera there. Look at that. And 
go. Now, in order to remove the optical drive, you need to remove that screw down there, that screw, that one, and that one. There's no other way to remove it unless you have um, a brilliant plan to modify the case, like, I don't know, drilling a hole through there and putting a screw in. But you don't want to break anything. You want to leave it absolutely original. I still have the original um, optical drive, but that thing's so screwed up. Um, I'm going to have to make a part two because my batteries are about to die. And uh, I think it would be best to clean this thing up before continuing on with a new video. So I'll be right back um, with part two.